What's going on, y'all? My Virgil Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, my kings and queens. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day. It is Pluto and Aquarius. Happy Aquarius season to you. I appreciate you very much playing along with the tarot. But today's video for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is for love and romance, my singles. So let's see what the energy is for the week ahead. What's going down with my singles, yo? Come on. Let's see, Virgo. You got time for love? Or you side-eyeing everybody? Let's see. What's going on? Damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Hold on. Wait. Top of the deck. Mm. Mm. Four of swords. Oh, wow. Damn. So either Virgo, you're dealing with a new situation where you are ending up to make a important decision here on walking away, but that four of swords is telling you, you know, connect back to source. Con connect within yourself. Pray, meditate, understand. And wow, as I was looking, the high priest is at the bottom of the deck. So your intuition knows, you know what's going down. You might be juggling the decision to walk away, or you're repeating a cycle because you, this is kind of like the past card, first card out is going through the same cycle and loop and you're having to uh, truly tap into the power and authority within yourself to not accept it and not tolerate. So you're being tested if that resonates with you or having a final breakthrough moment and, you know, I hate to break it to you, but Virgo, you might definitely be side-eyeing somebody. You're like, uh, oh, you ain't sneaky, motherfucker. I'm moving around. <laughs> Move around. Hold on, wait a minute. Let's see what else comes out. Bam. Yeah, so you or this person is very guarded, you know what I'm saying? The wounded Chiron person, the healer, you know what I'm saying? But they're not doing enough healing, or you haven't. And that's not to bash anyone here, but that is showing a lot of writing on the wall. And Knight of Wands, though, telling you. And the Knight of Wands is under the Two of Pentacles, so... Yeah, as I was about to say something, uh-uh, that's at the bottom of the deck. So you're definitely walking away overall from this person or situation. I feel like it's definitely a cycle repeated and needed. Sometimes you have to repeat a cycle from the past or connect back with a past person in order to have that understanding yourself from your own knowing and seeing of what the lesson was and how to apply it and change that in order to break free and liberate yourself into true abundance of love and beauty and that expression of your soul, your heart, your kindness, and having the ability to finally break through is definitely a very pivotal moment. You know, like the tower energy can be forced by the universe or you can surrender and let go. And that's where things feel a little better than the other choice, believe it or not. Trust me, we have all been there at least once or more. And that way, you'll start to understand and being able to walk the path. All right, let's see one more card. You know, this reading is a little too quick for you. So the King of Swords under the Four of Cups is very interesting enough saying that you're not as weak as you think. You are strong. You are brave. You are courageous. Do not be afraid and have the strength and courage to cut anything, anyone out of your life within spiritual, mental, emotional, psychological, and Liberate yourself, as I was saying already, you know what I'm saying? Spiritual advice, so this reading is really quick for Virgo, huh? You needed this message, didn't you? Can't make that shit up. I don't even need to say anything else. Top of the deck, please. Walking away from that controlling passive energy. Maybe not enough communication, starting to communicate and cut things out and reassess yourself. Knight of Pentacles going to where you feel more appreciated and loved and being able to provide that for somebody else where that love offer is there and it is genuine. You know what I'm saying? One last card. This reading was really quick. <laughs> really fast. Hold on. Let's see what's going down. Yep. The Knight of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. Where you are loved, where the love offer is there and it's solid, it's beautiful, it is secure, and it is nurturing. And it came from death. Man, Virgo, that was heavy. Damn, fucking hell, that was so heavy. But hey, I appreciate y'all, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Ambienesses from the bottom of my heart. And I will see y'all in the next video. But if you have any Aries to Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as this video is for Virgo, all of those are uploaded for the week ahead for love and romance. And I will see you for the next rest of the signs. Stay blessed as always, y'all. Peace.